Ah ouais, je te vois. Je sais pas. Au moins. <laughs> Your mouth is like super green. Like Welcome back to the channel, Arm Beers. We did a crossover video with Joel Hansen from Model vs. Foods. You guys are going to have to check him out on Instagram and YouTube. I'll have his uh, link in the description below. But we did a crossover with a YouTube guy and we want to do it to bring positive light to the industry. So let's show you a little clip of what he did. Hey everyone, and welcome to today's video, and I want to say an extra special hello to all the r and beers watching the challenge today. So huge thanks to the gentlemen at r &B Reptiles for bringing us today's video, today's challenge. So r &B Reptiles is a YouTube channel run by a couple of guys down in the States. They're passionate about animals, specifically reptiles, but not only are they huge advocates for the safe and humane ownership of reptiles, but they're sharing general reptile positivity of these freaking beautiful creatures. So of course, definitely consider supporting the reptile community in some positive ways, such as becoming a member of the US. ARK, the United States Association of Reptile Keepers. In addition, you can support the reptile community and support reptiles themselves by spreading that reptile positivity yourself, such as watching RMB videos, watching videos educating you about reptiles and that they're not mean, evil creatures. So be sure to check out RMB Reptiles. Their info is down in the description below. And with that, let's get back to the video. Hey everyone, Joel Hanser, and here we are at Taco Embassy, my favorite Mexican restaurant in the universe. And here we are guys with an absolutely massive food challenge. So here we have the Anaconda Burrito Challenge or Serpente, Serpent. Guys, this is absolutely massive. If you cannot comprehend this, this burrito is as long as I am tall, if that makes sense. So the reason that we did something like this was because we wanted to get some positive light out there into the industry to the people that aren't into reptiles that much. We also want to make sure that we're putting information out there for US Arc. So you guys, if you guys haven't supported US Arc, make sure you guys are supporting US Arc. So because Joel did the Anaconda burrito in uh, you know honor of us, we're gonna do our own eating challenge as a response to that video. So here we go, let's see what Ryan does. So I picked up a couple of these sour pickle balls and they say uh, Alamo Candy Company and they're the great taste of Texas made in San Antonio. They, I was told that they're really awesome. Guys, make sure you like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. We're going back in. So the eating challenge, Ryan, is for you to eat, put all four of these into your mouth and try to show off a couple of ball pythons that are, let's say that they're, you know, gravid or going to be. Mm. Sounds like awesome. You know I'm the super fun guy that likes to do fun stuff, so <laughs> let's do this. Before you get that in your mouth, tell me what are uh, the reasons why people should be doing lots of reptile stuff out there in the world? So I know a lot of people get a little uncomfortable when they see reptile uh, YouTubers doing crossovers on other channels because they're worried about the sensationalism of everything and how it's going could possibly negatively impact our industry and our hobby and our opinion on that whole thing is the people that are watching these videos that don't like reptiles or hate them or are scared of them are still going to be scared of them or hate them no matter what the people that watch them that like them they're still going to like them but there's going to be a small percentage in the middle that come over from the other side that say hey i didn't even know these things existed the colors how they're acting and all this stuff and I'm interested and I want to look more into it. So I think there's only a net positive impact getting that information out to other people, even though there might be a little bit of showmanship put into it or a little bit of, you know, flair or dramatization, dramatization or all that <laughs> stuff that gets people a little uneasy. As long as the animals aren't being portrayed as monsters and as long as the animals are being treated in a way that doesn't harm them, I don't see personally, and I think Ben agrees, that yep. there's any negative impact to that. So with that being said, let me shove these balls into my mouth. <laughs> Do it. I'm really, it. I'm really taking some... Uh, yeah, we're really going off the, the reservation here. Ooh. Yeah. Have it. you tried these yet? Nope, I haven't. I can't wait to try them. Well, they don't smell good. <laughs> 
<laughs> you told them what they are, right? Yeah. Sour pickle balls? Sour pickle balls. Yeah. Straight from oh, Texas. It smells a lot like turmeric. That is really weird. Could be some of that in there. All right, here we go. Oh. <laughs> Oh man, I like pickles. This is disgusting. Uh, <laughs> I haven't played chewing yet. Oh, uh, I hate you. <laughs> I like so bad. So, so you gotta show off what <laughs> you gotta pick. What can pick some? Uh, this is really bad. <laughs> it's not even gummy. It's like crumbly. I don't know what it is. Like, oh. uh, what? <laughs> Mm. <laughs> Your mouth is like super green. Like, let me get in there. Look at it. Like, open your mouth. It's so green. It is so green. You can't even see it on camera. I got it. You can't. You gotta get out of the room, even? <laughs> so, Ryan's uh, pretty much up chucking in the bathroom right now because <laughs> can't wait for me to try um he couldn't even get into one one snake that's what a wimp <laughs> snap you gotta show your tongue it is so green it is so green so <clears throat> i know you might think that i was like overreacting or acting here but it's literally just compressed ball of spice it's not even like a gummy or whatever. It's like not candy at all. It, it, yeah. If I were to swallow that, I would have thrown up all over the place. It would be disgusting. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. You don't want to watch this. <sighs> Seriously, it's gross. I can't wait for me to do mine. You better do all four of them. I will. All right. So, I didn't even get through one. But this girl... Is a Pied Possible Head Lab that we're hoping to prove out this year. I palpated six eggs in her, so I'm super excited about that. We put her to our male Fire Spot Nose uh, Triple F Holy Grail. So it should be interesting. What's a what's the Triple Hat Holy Grail? So <clears throat> it's Hat. <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> hip Pied. Het Clown and Het Lav, yep. but it's actually only 50% Het Pied, so we put it over here to prove out the Pied, mm -hmm. all that stuff. <laughs> Her mouth it's, is so green. It's really <laughs> hard to concentrate with this, ugh, that's so nasty. Another one we just, she actually just shed today and is huge. This is a pastel banana clown female that was bred to a pastel leopard spot nose yellow belly head clown. Mm -hmm. So that'll be a really cool clutch. Man, I'm really hoping we get some cool really Batman. awesome clowns on that one. It could That'd be a real close. game changer for the season. Mm -hmm. um, another one who's massive going to give us eggs is this pastel mahogany she wants to run pastel mahogany head clown that we actually put our pastel leopard arroyo head clown to so hopefully we hit leopard arroyo mahogany clowns I think that would be interesting yes a so bit in the beginning of this season we said would do we want to put a visual clown to her or do we want to shoot for something that would really push our arroyo project uh, ahead and we voted that we would you know really shoot for the stars on some of these and we are, swing for the fences we are playing the odds game on a, a bunch of these things for really long odds but if they hit like it would really propel us into the future so mm -hmm. another one that is really exciting. Is this pastel leopard arroyo head clown female? You can see how distended her belly scutes are, how they round out instead of flatten. 
So she's building eggs, and she was also paired to that same male, Pastel Leopard Arroyo Head Clown. So mm -hmm. we have a possible possibility to hit Super Arroyo or Rio Super Leopard Clowns, which would be pretty epic, mm -hmm. I think. Super Pastel in there probably too, but possible. possible. Fortunately, it's not like a Super Pastel. Like our one of our visual clown nails that we use a lot is the Killer Clown. So everything's pastel at least we have the opportunity to not hit that one. yes <laughs> you know that's I mean? true um one more and then it's my turn for the candy i call it candy but it really is green mouth paint dude, <laughs> dude you can't swallow it you could swallow one of them probably and not get sick but all four of them at the same time oh my goodness and then we have this girl and you can see how rounded out her stomach is as well Mm -hmm. And this is a, yeah, a super pastel fire spider or a killer bee fire. And mm -hmm. we put her to, uh, we put her to the Enchi Banana Lori. So we're trying to push out some more cool Lori combos. Um, I know a lot of you guys have been asking for Lori's, especially female Lori's. So hopefully we'll have some more available for you this year. Uh, Lori products really getting hot. Like with all the stuff that Brian's doing over at BHB and a couple other of us that are heavily involved in the project, like some cool stuff coming down the road, guys. Why are you drinking? Why are you going to drink that? <laughs> I can't wait for you to see it. It is super green. I saw it in the mirror while I was in the bathroom. <laughs> I know what it looks like. It's terrible. All right, it's my turn, I guess. It was just St. Patrick's Day, though, so. Yeah, that's true. Okay, guys, so we had a little bit of a technical difficulty, and we lost the audio on this clip, but uh, I definitely tried the pickle balls, and I put them in my mouth right here, you can see, and uh, <laughs> I, I can't believe that I did it, but, you know, Ryan did it, so I figured I could beat him, and he's definitely right, it is not gummy it was uh just a bunch of spices pressed together and it had a crazy green dye i'm choking uh and i i told myself that i was definitely going to swallow these because ryan couldn't do it and you know i try to go above him on that kind of stuff so my challenge was to eat those and then uh talk about the new hisser roaches that we got in so the giant hissers and we did a special thank you to Mike Stefani of uh, Mike's Monitors because he gave us these. Uh, we just paid shipping pretty much. And uh, he gave us a whole bunch of hissers to start our, our colony. And it is difficult to grab these while I'm choking on the, <laughs> choking on the uh, pickle balls. These things are the taste of Texas, let me tell you. But these hissers are really awesome and uh, really want to say a thank you to Mike for putting those out and uh, sending them us, to us. You can see how green my tongue is. It is ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. After we filmed that, I realized that the camera was in slow-mo and it doesn't catch the audio. And um, it is super, super bad. Uh, I'm going to definitely be throwing this out to a whole bunch of people. I'm going to send them uh, this, this candy and see what happens. But um, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And there's lots of sounds like this in there. And, uh, all right. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. I know that I didn't. I don't think Ben did. <laughs> <laughs> we, we enjoyed the video probably. <laughs> Especially since... I kind of blew that last take. Uh, <laughs> go subscribe to Herb House Rock. Watch those videos. Check out Army Reptile Shorts. Go look at this playlist. Or this playlist. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>